we are well into monsoon season here in the country of Thailand. And although the rains have let up for a few minutes, I figured this was the perfect time to go to Fortune Town. This is Bangkok's largest IT, electronics, gadgets, high-end stereo equipment, and new and used record mall. It could be the biggest one in all of Thailand. So let's go and check it out. There are five floors here at Fortune Town, and the ground floor and the first floor are mostly food and fashion and some jewelry. Right now, we're heading up to the second floor, and this is the smartphone and the camera zone. So I'm excited to check it out because I'm actually looking for a secondhand phone to use for navigation on my motorbike. This floor has at least 100 vendors selling new and used smartphones and camera accessories and equipment. So let's take a look and see if I can find myself a phone real quick and I'll show you all the other stores and what's on this floor. Fortune Town is also a great place to come and get things repaired. Here is a shop that does smartphone repair. There's many shops here that will do different kind of repair if you need it. One of the other things I'm looking for while here is a mount for my motorbike so I can get my Insta360 camera mounted so I can show you guys some amazing 360 degree views. And obviously this store has a ton of different mounts, attachments, little parts and pieces. There's a bunch of stores like that here at Fortune Town. So if you're looking for any little pieces for cameras, holders, tripods, you gotta come here. It's definitely the best place. No shortage of cell phone stores and camera stores. Here's another one. I mean, just ton of different things. We're still on the floor with all the cameras and all the smartphones, but there is a vendor here for computers. Used computers, laptops, secondhand stuff. They've got quite a bit of selection here. Not really sure how the prices are. Not on the market for a secondhand notebook, but there you are. There's the prices in bot. And right now the conversion rate is right around 36 bot to $1 just so many things on this floor this store here looks like they sell more professional level video camera equipment this is the kind of stuff you need if you're a pro obviously i'm not because i'm using an iphone to record all my videos as a matter of fact i'm still editing on my iphone i've only made it a quarter of the way through the first floor that i'm covering here so i better get a move on there's something about gadgets and gadget malls that I absolutely love. I don't know if you're a big fan of gadgets, but every time I come to an electronics place like this, I want to buy everything. Fortunately, I'm, I guess, smart enough to not buy everything I see. Otherwise, I would have closets full of stuff that I'm not using. I'm curious about you. Are you one of those people that absolutely loves gadgets and you have tons of stuff that you bought, maybe used once or twice and put away in the closet? Let me know in the comments below. Now I found something that is really, really cool. These are Polaroid cameras, the instant film cameras. They are back in production so you can buy brand new ones. They're making all sorts of different versions and they're just really fun cameras. Not the highest quality pictures, but always fun to play with. Oh my goodness, look at these gaming setups. This is exactly what I need to uh, set up a little podcast studio at my condo. Not sure I'm quite there yet, but Definitely got a ton of great podcasting equipment here. Things you need for editing, like this really cool stream deck. Mechanical keyboards. Oh, absolutely love the sound of these things. Getting completely sidetracked. I came here looking for two things. I think I found one of them. The phone's proving to be a little bit more difficult, but I wanna give you an overview of the rest of this floor, and then we'll move up to the next floor. This store here specializes in nothing but lighting for your photography needs. This is definitely more for professional high-end, not something that a regular YouTube vlogger like me would ever need or probably could afford. Just now at the halfway point on the second floor, and we've definitely switched over from mainly smartphone, cell phone stores over to camera equipment. And right now we are looking at stores that have really high-end professional level camera equipment. Obviously, it's not just video and photography equipment sold here. As you can see, this store has a whole wall of audio production equipment. Everything you need from microphones, covers, to mixers, to stands. Uh, this road stuff is really high end. This has a lot of really good selection here. I don't believe there's an official DJI store here at Fortune Town. However, if you're looking for drones or any DJI items, this store here, Big Camera, they're a chain and they have quite a big selection here of DJI drones and other DJI items, not to mention quite a few other items as well. 
another store that's selling professional lighting equipment. I'm blown away by the variety and the selection of the high-end lighting equipment at many of the stores here at Fortune Town. These lights are very nice quality. I've heard of Nan Light before, Nan Lux. They make really good lights, but again, definitely not something that I need for my low-level production. Got a great deal on that Ulanzi clamp at the Spy Discovery Store. Saved myself 190 baht, which is right around $5 US. Okay, we're finally finished with this floor. Let's go up to the third floor and see what's there. I've now made it to the third floor here in Fortune Town, and this floor has all the high-end audio equipment and also a lot of the computers. And this store in front of me, you have to see the kind of stuff they have here. These Martin Logan speakers are just sublime. I have heard these in the US. They sound amazing. 190,000 baht, which is right around $5,100 US. Definitely quite a bit more than they would cost in America, but these speakers are magnificent to look at and the sound is just superb. Macintosh is one of the premier manufacturers of high-end stereo equipment, amplifiers, pre-amplifiers, and now even speakers. They've been around, I believe, since sometime in the early mid-70s. They are ridiculously expensive, and you really have to be an audiophile to get one. The prices on some of the things like an amplifier can be upwards of six dollars to $10,000 US, but Macintosh is definitely by far one of the top manufacturers of theater quality home audio system equipment. And this is the first of many such stores on this floor. And like I said, I better be careful going through them because there's some very expensive equipment. I have to take you guys into this store. They've got some crazy looking turntables and Bowers and Wilkins equipment. Let's go inside. Now we're entered a store that has more Bowers and Wilkins and other high-end stereo equipment. The stores here on this floor, like I said, absolutely blow me away. The first time I came to this mall and I saw all of this equipment, this is not inexpensive stuff. You have to understand that we're talking speakers, receivers, amplifiers, things that are in the hundreds of thousands of baht, five to ten thousand dollars. I've seen speaker systems here that sell upwards of a hundred thousand dollars or more. And that is a lot of money, not just in Thailand, but anywhere in the world. This floor is definitely a lot quieter, mainly because there's not many people that can afford to spend $100,000 on their home stereo system setup. Actually, there's a lot more expensive items here than $100,000. Again, this is not your average stereo equipment. This is audiophile level stuff. Let's pop into this shop real quick. It's PMP Audio and Vinyl, and they're selling records and stereo equipment, and even vintage cameras. There's a whole bunch of cameras over here. But going back to the records, the first rack here, look at this, we've got Rolling Stones, Rod Stewart, another Rod Stewart. I'm curious as to the prices on this. This one is 700 baht, which is $20 US. Even a bargain bin here that has 200 bought records, which is right around $8. Let's see if there's any winners here. Kind of curious. What is this? Oh, the Braxtons. No way. Tony Braxton, uh, K7. Not familiar with them, but let's see what else we have here. Smith and Hunter. Man, just all sorts of good stuff. All for $7 each. Vanillica. I'm gonna take a quick look in this shop and see what they have in here. Oh, this place is pretty crazy. So many different records. Wow. Most of these are new and the prices vary from about 1,000 baht and up. Some of them are less, but the selection at this particular record store is quite intense. Just take a look at some of these. I mean, we've got some very popular records from some huge names. I don't have a record player anymore, so I'm not buying any records. It is very tempting though. There's something about records. They're just a much warmer, rich sound that cannot be recreated with digital quality audio. So if you listen to the same song on a vinyl record and on a CD, it will be two totally different sounds. The records bring out a much deeper, warmer sound. And this is why audiophiles the world over 
prefer vinyl over digital. I just came out of this store right here and the equipment they have here literally was just blowing me away. These folks are inside listening to this system with this suspended turntable setup and this amplifier. This amplifier has tubes on it as you can see and tubes typically produce more wattage, cleaner sound and this is the way you want to go if you have the money for a really high-end audio system. The turntable setup in here and these other huge amps with the large tubes. Not only do they sound amazing, but they are literally like works of art. And everything in the store was exquisite and obviously very expensive. I'm not sure if words can explain what I'm seeing in this shop. These speakers are gigantic. I don't remember the brand name, but I've seen these before. And I think these are close to $100,000 each not to mention the suspended turntables. Yes, this is one suspended turntable. Well, it looks like I was way off. This is a nine-year-old system, Clear Audio. It weighs 300 kilograms. And right now, as a second-hand item, the price on this turntable is 2.7 million baht, which is right around $75,000. And I was really off on the speakers, about halfway there. These speakers are about 6 million baht. It's about $175,000 for this pair because it is a special color. So. Uh, yeah, I was close, but not quite. Amazing equipment here. The owner is really nice, shared information with me. If this is in your budget, come to this shop um, and this man will absolutely take good care of you. Just to give you a size comparison, I'm 180 centimeters tall and these speakers, they come up to uh, about my eyebrows. So you better have the space for them. And I'm guessing these are quite heavy as well. This reel-to-reel -reel player was supposedly used by Steven Spielberg in a movie. The owner here says that he doesn't have any paperwork and the customer is asking half a million baht, which is right around, I believe, uh, 15, 20 thousand dollars US. This is a great store and I could stay here for hours talking to the nice owner here and looking at this crazy equipment. This store is Muse and uh, speechless. Obviously, I'm just speechless. We still got a lot to cover, so let's continue on. Countless record stores here and CD stores also are selling everything from new and used. Here's another store. And look, here's a Johnny Cash record. It is 550 baht, which is right around $16. They've got a ton of CDs here. Let's look at this. Oh my God, Kenny G, um, 250 baht. They play this in every elevator and every uh, sushi restaurant in America. We'll not be buying that, but look, Green Day, 250 baht, again, about seven, eight dollars. That's pretty good for a CD. Tons of other CDs here, used, new, mostly used in this store, but what a selection indeed. If this video seems like it's all over the place with different stores in wine, well, that's because this is the way this mall is laid out. I have little control over it, but I'm enjoying this mishmash of technology, electronics, and gadgets. But right now we are starting to enter the computer zone. This is where you can buy PCs and notebooks, mostly secondhand, although there are some shops that sell new and obviously lots of shops here that sell parts, do repairs, service, etc. So many different stores with interesting names, but I, I think this right here, Nutty, I think this wins it so far. This store definitely has the best name I've seen here today. I almost forgot, this floor also has some stores that sell musical instruments. Here is a guitar store with tons of acoustic guitars. Don't really see any electrics, uh, mainly just acoustic guitars in this one store. I was wrong, there was definitely some electric guitars in there. And look, another Vinylica store. The record stores here are nonstop and gadgets everywhere. Oh my God, I'm, I'm so overwhelmed. Like I said, I wanna take all of them home. I wanna adopt all of these gadgets, take them home with me and play with them. even a printer store and oh my god I think I found the largest light diffuser I have ever seen this thing here is gigantic like I said I'm 180 centimeters tall it's definitely a lot taller than I am 
Oh my God, we're not even halfway down this floor. I don't know how I'm gonna get through. I hope you're enjoying this uh, four hour long video because it definitely feels like I've been here that long. Uh, jokes aside, I've been here for about two hours and I've only bought one thing. There's a few other things that I need to pick up, so let's keep on moving. Uh, some of the software sold in some of these shops is, well, um, let's just say it comes in plastic bags with uh, paper, pieces of paper showing the names. I think you know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna avoid uh, showing too much of that. And beyond the basic gadgets, there's also stores here that sell camera bags, camera briefcases, security briefcases, backpacks, pretty much, like I said, anything you would need for your camera equipment. Definitely into the IT zone now because right now I'm seeing a lot of different stores selling laptops and desktops. Most of them have laptops and here I'm seeing new used, all sorts of different items, different prices. If you're into technology, you absolutely have to come to Fortune Town. I mean, I can't say that enough. Uh, I know I've said it a bunch of times already. However, this mall, man, it just blowing my mind. Every time I come here, I see new stuff. It is just endless and I see something I absolutely need in my life. Look at this, this is a 44 and a half inch curved monitor from LG, 59,700 baht. That works out to be right around $1,400 US. I believe this store literally sells nothing but computer memory and SD cards. With a name like memorytoday.com, it's gotta be what they do. And yep, look at this, we've got RAM, we've got DRAM, we've got SD cards, of all sizes well okay now i know where to get all my memory needs if i remember and now coming into the food court here on this floor but this is not what we came here for we have to go one more floor up to the last floor and that is where there is more it more computer stuff and the hobby and toy zone and on the fourth floor here we've literally got a giant mall called it city this whole floor is going to be insane as well. Is this floor going to be different or is it going to be more of the same? I think just a lot more of the same. More laptops, more desktops, more stores selling different equipment, mostly computer stuff up here. Kind of curious where the hobby zone is, so we'll head over there in a minute. Assortment of shops, very much like the other two floors. And now I'm looking for any of the toy and hobby shops that they're supposed to have here. Hopefully we can find at least one to look at. I found a video game store that has quite a big variety here. PS4 games, PS5 games. Obviously, we've got all the Mario guys here, so they're selling Nintendo. Very good selection here. It looks like all this stuff is new. Not seeing any secondhand, but everything from controllers to complete systems. And no, wait, here is a Mega Drive system. This is Sega's Mega Drive, also known as Genesis in Western markets. That's a really cool system, still in the box, and let's take a look at the price on it. Unfortunately, this was the only hobby shop that I could find up here, no other one, so this is probably not the right mall for that. Off camera, I acquired some other necessities like some power strips and cables, boring things that you guys wouldn't be interested in. Check out some of my other videos. Please make sure you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.